In Indiana, different story. People are under a flood warning as a massive accumulation of ice flows. National Weather Service issued the warning for Lafayette, citing the potential for ice jam flooding. And that's what happens when accumulation of ice obstructs the flow of the river. And once formed, the water can rise several feet within a matter of minutes. It, it's essentially self-explanatory. The ice starts to break up and it jams into a corner. And everywhere they see here, these green stripes, those are flood warnings. This down towards the south is due to rain, but some of this is ice jam flooding here. It's already thawing and our backyard is flooded, okay? Like, of, this is actually so crazy. Like, it was like just hey, yesterday. Guys, look, look, there's grass. I am touching grass right now. I could not do that two days ago, three days ago. Yeah, it seems like it was just yesterday oh, when it was like, gosh. it seems like it was like just yesterday when it was like full of snow, like the snow was like, so tall, but now it's like you can see the grass Dude. clearly. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's worse than no I thought. No way. Look, our backyard it's is flooding. Hey guys, so no, guys, this is actually flooding. No, this isn't no irrigation ditch. This is flooding. This is flooding. So, guys, oh my, oh, flood, my oh my gosh. gosh. <gasps> oh no. Oh my goodness. This is insanity. Hey guys, so the, like we didn't have that much rain, but the snow is melting from over there and it's coming in here. And if all this snow melts, and we're supposed to have rain tonight, okay? So the snow is all melting. We're about to have rain. This is about to flood farther. Like you could, you guys can kind of see right there. It came all the way out, all the way out to here. Like in front of wow. the shed. There are what? a lot like... of low areas in our neighborhood. So if like all this snow melts and then we have heavy rain, we're gonna have a huge flood in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's this just, is this gonna, is be, gonna be horrible. Like you can't tell if this is a garden, but look. Like what? I, I can literally feel the water as I'm just walking around. Like, oh my gosh, I almost sunk in. You guys see that? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Guys, look at how look deep how that footprint is. Slushy that is. Oh my gosh, There's I can't even water. walk normally. There's, There's more water yeah, here. All the way back there oh my through. gosh. Yeah, guys, so we're, if the snow keeps melting, our whole backyard is going to be flooded and that's going to be horrible. It's been... not a thing. Listen. Yeah, there's like you can hear the water under. You my can feet. hear the water from where the snow melts in right now. So guys, just pray for us because if this whole yard floods, we're done. Guys, it is super early in the morning. The kids just came to get Dory up and said there's water in the house. I don't know how bad it is, but all this snow has melted. Oh my gosh. <sighs> um, I am. It is like. It is like 7.02, okay? I'm getting ready for school and I'm putting on my clothes. I go to the bathroom, I hear water. So I got on stairs and, sorry. What happened? So I was, I went in the bathroom, I, oh okay? Gosh. And it's bubbling, that bubbling noise. I heard it and went in there. I was like, what the, what's what's going on? Is it upstairs? Yes, the, sure enough, I go down there, it stinks. Oh my and gosh. there's water raining from the ceiling. No. It's so bad. Like it, oh, it's bad. it's pretty bad. He's really frustrated. It's so bad, guys. I and the smell down there. Oh. I mean, I guess it stinks up here now too. Guys, look at that. What is going on? Like, why is we it leaking? Oh my gosh. Like, why is it leaking? All our boxes are wet. That's our classroom stuff. And that bucket right there? You see that bucket? It's almost full. Oh my god. That's Man, so good. Oh, it stinks so bad. Mm -mm. It's like sewer water or something, guys. This is crazy. Our house is literally flooding. We need to call them. We got woken up this morning by the children. They were getting ready to go to school. And they came in my room to wake us up about flooding in the basement. If you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, we had like a whole bunch of snow. There was like a snowstorm. So um, there's water all over because the snow melted and then it was raining as well. So this could potentially be caused by that. I gotta keep an eye on Ellie because she's not feeling well. I'm starting to feel like I'm catching something as well. Hey guys, we just called someone to come down and look at the damage that was done to the house. Um, it was really bad. Like it was flooding all over the ground and a lot of our stuff is ruined. Um, so that's frustrating, but just keep us in our prayers because this is really frustrating because we just, it seems like just a couple days ago, we were just having problems with the water. So yeah, but it, it messed up like a lot of these boxes. That's why they're wet.
it just got all over. It was just like pouring down. I, I was just trying to take a casual shower and all I hear is a knock at the doorbell. It's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm taking a shower. And I come out and I just see like this huge flood. Okay guys, so um, someone's here working on the, um, what do you call it, sewer? Mm -hmm. the, sewer drain. the sewer drain. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, it's, um, it's really loud, whatever it's working out. It sounds like he's killing something in there. Anyway, um, so it looks like what's going on is something outside of the home. I don't, right? I don't know. Yeah. The, it's like, I don't know how to say it. goes out to the road. Yeah. So the, it looks like it, the problem is with the drain that goes out to the road, I guess. See, I knew so, it wasn't my shower. Yeah, it's, it's really loud right now. I don't know. Right now he's just running the water bottle. I don't know. There's like this pump or something. What what is it that he's running? Uh, he had a camera first, but the loud thing is like it cleans out the drain. Okay, so he was using something to clean out the drain. It was really loud. The majestic family, the plumber, or some sort of company. I'm guessing the plumber just left, and he looked down into the pipe because there was a water coming from downstairs there was a water in the bathroom i'm not sure if we showed you that if, um all over the bathrooms and um he just left and it looks like because of the freeze and thawing that we had like and then the rain the pipe burst one of our pipe burst <laughs> oh mg um yeah so Everything is in working order now. And now we have to go and assess the damage. Um, we're not really necessarily worried about the material things, Majestic Family. Yeah, so we're gonna go and look at it, work at it as a family, but it's been a rough day, <laughs> rough morning, but stay positive. We're gonna try and stay positive to the best of our ability. Like I said earlier, or the kids are back from school anyway. Um, Ellie's sick. And then now I picked up whatever she has. I think it's some sort of throat thing going on. And I didn't sleep well, I wasn't sleeping well. A couple of days ago, Jory and I heard like a strange noise coming from like the bathroom. And we're like, what's that? And we just kind of figured it was Javen was showering. Um, so we kind of put it out of our minds. And then Bella said earlier, she kept hearing something too. And then when they went downstairs to get ready, um, and actually one of the, the water wasn't working in the bathroom. So we're like, what is going on? And then early this morning, is what we find out and I could not sleep well last night like I tossed and turned I got only about four hours of sleep last night I should have known something was up <laughs> majestic family so Ellie's finally playing I can get away for a couple of minutes to come to see what's going on downstairs I have not been up here but Bella did show me the video and it looked pretty bad it doesn't smell anymore which is good but all these need to be thrown in the trash everything here needs to be thrown in the trash all this as you can see anything back there is done for it we need to throw it in the trash it's frustrating because i think jory said that there might be some of our pictures like our wedding pictures down there so i'm kind of frustrated about that um but you know I think we have some other ones stored elsewhere it's like it's just kind of like been one of those days and i'm trying to stay positive but it is difficult getting woken up too <laughs> the house is flooding the house is flooding uh, i'm not sure how everybody else situation is i know when we were driving i think we took bella to her she had a volleyball practice yesterday and the river by our house like um or a stream you would call it was super high on both sides they were like ditches of water everywhere so i don't know i'm, I'm sure we're not the only people but it is definitely frustrating so we're gonna just try and hang tight and keep positive as a family and i think what we're thinking is we're gonna just take the kids out to go play some volleyball to get it off our minds for a little bit and then the real work will begin um but Today is not the day for it. We'll Jory get. just got home. West Instead spot there is probably what the guy was working, the plumber was working on. So we're gonna take it out because we don't know what type of situation that is. 
<laughs> That's what I meant to tell you guys. He did find a blockage, but then in the midst of doing that, he found that one of the pipes broken. Yeah. was broken. It's out in the yard, out past the walls. So. Right. Yeah, so it wasn't it? anything with the is house. The yeah. The which is the it's still something that needs to be fixed. Dad. So I'll dig down and fix it. Yeah. Yes, Ellie. Um, is it in the front? Yep. Is it by the front? It is. It's right outside uh, Bella's window. Yeah. I'm glad the house doesn't smell anymore. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, I'm trying to keep positive here. Keep us in your thoughts and in your prayers.